Hello everybody, Professor Tomney here, and I wanted to create a bit of a shorter lecture here, but I usually every year get questions regarding how to handle significant figures when it comes to pH. So when you are converting into and out of pH in between molarity of proton concentration and then going back into pH, how do you handle significant figures? So that's what I want to take a look at here in this lecture today. Okay, so before I get started with this, two things. The first thing is that you should probably have a calculator with you just so that you could follow along and that it makes more sense as we're going through a few of these examples. Once you practice, as long as you know the back and forth between how the what I call the P scale, so pH, pKa, pOH, how that P scale works in relation to uh, the molarity values, it's usually easy to go back and forth with them. So a calculator is a good idea. So if you need to pause the video to run and go get one, I would encourage you to do so, or at least pull one up on your computer if you have a scientific calculator. And the second thing is you obviously need to know the general rules for significant figures, right? So this is kind of like a, a higher tiered understanding of significant figures when you get to pH. So if you don't understand the basics, of what classifies something as being a significant figure or not, then this whole entire discussion is going to be relatively meaningless to you. So make sure you understand sig figs, and once you do, you can apply that here. All right, so enough of that talking and uh, prep work. Let's get into this. Now, when you take a look at any type of molarity for H+, plus, which we usually represent with, right, the brackets, and then we put H+, plus. you could do the same thing for hydroxide with OH-, minus, right, and then you get some sort of a number. So let's say that your instructor gives you uh, 2.57 uh, times 10 to the negative fourth, right? So that's the molarity of the H+, plus in solution. And then they pose the question, what is the pH. Okay? Now this is not a lecture on teaching you about going into pH and out of pH. We can do that in a separate lecture. This is just to address the significant figures. So the way that you get the pH is by taking the negative log, and this is log base 10 here, of the H plus concentration. And that's going to return a nice relatively uh, meaningful number between 1 and 14, right? A smaller number uh, or I guess it's larger in this case, but the, the, the values, we want to keep them on that pH scale. So if you get your calculator, and I have mine here, right, and you type in negative log, and then you put that value in, what you are going to see is the value that comes out should be 3.59, and then there's two zeros, a six, a six, an eight, okay, and so on. So obviously this is too many significant figures here, but the question is how do we determine? So the way that you determine this is you go up to the molarity and you look at the number of significant figures here. And when we take a look at this right here, there are a total of three significant figures, right? When we are in scientific notation, this portion does not count. That is a placeholder. It is simply telling you the relative value of the decimal, right? And so the same thing happens when you do this conversion to the left of this decimal. This right here, okay, is representative of that placeholder. And so this is not considered when we deal with sig fig values. So you do not need to worry about that value. Your significant figures start after the decimal place. And so what ends up happening when you convert this is the number of significant figures that went into the molarity are the number of decimal places that need to come out of the pH. So because there were three significant figures in this value, that means this pH should be taken out three decimal places, which means I would nix the rest of this. And so the correct value 
for this would be that the pH is going to equal 3.590, okay? And to prove this further, if you want to see that this really is just a placeholder, what you can do is you can say, what is the pH for H plus when it is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 2? And if you take the negative log of that, you'll find that the pH is equal to 2. And then you could do it again, and you could say, what is the H plus of 1.0, let's say, times 10 to the negative fifth? And if you take the negative log of 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth, you'll find that it's a pH of 5. And so these numbers are really representative in the negative logarithmic scale of these factors right here, which is why we don't count them as significant measurements that are coming out of the laboratory equipment or whatever else we might be working with in the problem. Okay, so again, if we were going to put a rule here, the rule for how this is going to work is that the number of significant figures in the H plus, in the molarity value, okay, is going to equal the number of decimal places in pH. Okay, so I will put one more up here just for practice and then we're going to wrap this up because I just wanted to address this. Okay, so if you are given an H plus value of, uh, let's say, 5.69 times 10 to the minus fifth. Okay, so that's the molarity of the H plus. What pH should you report back? And then let's also do the opposite. Let's say that I've got a pH that is uh, 2.78. The question is, what is the H plus value that should be reported back? Pause the video, try these in your scientific calculator, and most importantly, attempt to report back the values with the correct significant figures. Okay, so hopefully you had a chance to try this. If you took the negative log of 5.69, times 10 to the negative fifth, you should get a value that is equal to four, and now I have to determine how many. So there's three sig figs here, so I should go three decimal points out. So what I got when I put it into my scientific calculator was 4.24, and then there's another four, but it's followed by an eight, so I'm gonna round that up to a five. I should get 4.245 three decimal places for three significant figures, okay? Now the opposite is true if I wanna come out of pH back into H plus. So in this case, I'm gonna to need to take the negative anti-log. So I'll take 10 to the negative 2.78. And if you do that, what you should get is 0.00. .00 and now I have to consider, as I'm approaching my first value here that's a non-zero digit, how far out should I go? Well, this had two decimal places, so I should only have two significant figures in the H plus value. So it's a one, and then after that, there's a six, but there's a five that's coming right after that. So I'm going to round it up to one seven, okay? So 0 0.0017, or if you wanted to express it this way, you could say that it is 1.7, and that's all that there should be, no additional zeros with sig figs, times 10 to the negative third. Both of those would be acceptable ways of expressing the H plus concentration with the correct number of significant figures. So that is it. Hopefully this helped people understand pH and how to handle significant figures going back and forth. So again, the rule is, number of significant figures in the molarity 
is going to equal the number of decimal places in the pH. And you can swap these out for anything else. So you could turn around and you could say the number of significant figures in the OH concentration is the number of decimal places in the POH. The number of significant figures in the KA is the number of decimal places in the PKA. And so on and so forth. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope this helped you guys out. Head on over to Chem Complete if you need some free resources on acid based chemistry. And we also have guides that are available for purchase for anything that you may be struggling with. Thank you for learning with me, and I will see you guys in the next one.